Hello, welcome to my channel Doll Talks My Short Lady. In this video, I'll be taking up the topic of technical writing. So first, I would like to start with the origin of the word technical. Now, many of us believe that technical comes from technology, but in fact, both these words come from the Greek word techni, which refers to specialized techniques or methods of doing something. It can also refer to a certain skill set or the art and craft of doing certain things. So now that we understand the origin of the word technical, let us have a look at the scope of technical. Technical, as we understand, is a set of specialized skills or techniques. So it can be easily applied to the field of engineering, as well as medicine, to humanities, to commerce and business, and even to the arts. In fact, if I put it in a nutshell, technical can refer to any field which requires specialized skills and techniques. So now that we understand the scope of the word technical, let us have a look at the definition of technical writing. Technical writing is an audience-centered means of communication that provides a reader with clear and easy access to information. So again, if I boil this down to simple words, it means that technical writing is audience-centered information. So the next question arises, why does the audience need any information? Well, because at times, the audience is information deficient. For example, if my laptop does not respond and does not start, then mostly I do a Google search to figure out what I can do to fix my laptop on my own. So, when we don't have information, where do we go as an information deficient source? We generally end up going to an information rich source like, as I said, Google or YouTube. But in Google or YouTube, somebody is writing and uploading that information. And this somebody is an expert. So if I simplify the definition of technical writing, I can go ahead and say that technical writing is information written by experts for non-experts. So now that we understand the definition of technical writing, I would like to talk about the two golden rules which we should follow when we undertake any kind of technical writing. Now, the first rule is about the level of language and how difficult or easy it should be. So if you take my advice, the level of language should always be easy because we need to understand that this information will be read mostly by non-experts. So in fact, the level should be so easy that even a fifth standard kid should understand. Rule number two, it talks about the level of information. Now, how much and where you should pitch your information depends on the end user. Now, as an expert, if you're writing a user manual, we need to keep in mind that this will be read by lay persons. For example, a homemaker, an office goer, or even a school going kid. However, if you're writing a repair manual, we need to understand that this will be read by a technician whose ultimate purpose will be to go and repair a piece that is faulty. Lastly, if you're writing a coding manual, you must remember that somebody who is a developer is going to be reading this manual, maybe on how to run the hardware. So now that we understand the two golden rules of technical writing, let us take a test. Can a cookbook be called technical writing? Yes, of course, because it talks about skills of cooking and it is written by an expert. And who will read a cookbook? Obviously, people who do not know how to cook. So that makes it expert writing for non-experts. So here are a few examples of technical writing. You will often come across user manuals when you buy a new product, like a DSLR camera. You also come across software installation guides every time you want to install a new software in a computer. We have assembling instruction that comes maybe with a 
writing desk that you buy. We also come across legal disclaimers, for example, when we buy into a new insurance policy. We have standard operating procedures, which employees in most companies have to follow. Then we have reports of different kinds. We have service level agreements when we sign into a new job. We also have proposals of uh, mergers and acquisitions. There are catalogs that are published and even press releases. These are all examples of different types of technical writing. Now, what will I cover in the videos ahead? I'll be talking about technical writing mostly for engineers and the topics I'll be cover will be first of all about how to frame definitions. I'll be looking at class categories. I'll be talking about how to expand definitions and make them more concrete. Then I'll be moving to the art of describing an object, then writing user instructions, inserting special notices in the user instructions, and lastly, about describing a process. This is all I have in this video. For more videos on this topic, please refer to the description box below. And the name of my channel again is Tell Talks from a Shop Lady. And with that, I will say thank you and bye.